Creating an account. Welcome to the remote management system of Minicaster. After unwrapping your Minicaster box and setting up the device, you're ready to register on myminicaster.com. Please click on Create Account and decide whether you're going to use Minicaster as a private or a business person. Adding a new device. After creating an account, you are able to add new devices to your account. Therefore, please give your Minicaster a name, description, and also very important, type in the registration code, which is shown in the Minicaster display. By clicking Add, your new device will appear in the overview. Since your device should be connected to the web wire Ethernet for setting it up, you will be able to see that the LAN signal is valid and also the IP address has been handed over. Depending on the type of camera you want to use, you should select the correct input profile type as shown here. Profile settings. Every minicaster can have a unique name and description which can be edited various times. On myminicaster.com the device status will be shown in real time, meaning that you will see directly whether your minicaster is sleeping, streaming and or recording. You will receive the new settings, all kinds of LAN, Wi-Fi or 2G, 3G profiles on the fly. And by confirming the new profile, Minicaster will receive the new settings. When shipped, we will have some common profiles preset for you as default profiles in order to enable you to start live streaming directly after unwrapping your new Minicaster. Changing Output Profiles after logging in, you can edit the output profiles on the fly and have the new setups transferred to your Minicaster. Streaming and Recording On MyMinicaster.com you can manage any registered Minicaster remotely and with a few clicks. You can see it at any time if Minicaster is streaming and or recording and how much power the battery has if the device is running on battery, but also if Minicaster is being charged. Preview Player Clicking the Preview button will start a preview player with the actual stream. The stream is delivered by the TV1 CDN. You can also ingest to a Valsa server or any CDN with an RTP-UDP ingest.